You are welcome to God Answers Prayer YouTube channel. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. You are warmly welcome to this prayer meeting. The power of God will overshadow your life as you join us. The Spirit of the Living God will move in your body, soul, and spirit, and overshadow you with His presence. God bless you in Jesus' name. As we began to look at this topic, we read from the book of Jeremiah, unto which we are going to read again today. Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 17. Jeremiah 32 verse 17 If you are there, say yes. Our Lord God Behold Thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great and stretch out her and there is nothing nothing too hard for thee is that your bible can we all read it loud and clear let's go Then we read from Matthew chapter 19, verse 26. Jesus speaking. But Jesus beheld them. Matthew 19, 26. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. We read this last week. And we began to look at what? Are miracles. The miracles are events beyond the power of any human being. Miracles are events beyond the power of any physical law. Miracles represent supernatural occurrence produced by the power of God. It's a marvel, is a wonder. And sometimes the Bible refers to it as mighty works. And last week we began to look at why does God work miracles? We said God works miracles to punish his enemies. To discipline the disobedient. To deliver God's people from the enemies. That's why we stopped last week. We take it away from there a little bit now. Because of our time this morning. God works miracles to signify God's calling upon a life of a man or woman. That's what you find in Exodus chapter 3 verse 2 when the bush was burning but was not consumed. It was a miracle to signify his calling. Close your eyes on your seat now and shout this loud and clear. Say, my father connect me to your miracle walking power. In the name of Jesus open your mouth and shout it loud. Amen. 
pray. pray. God works miracles to fight for his people. He fights for his people. That's what you find that happened at the Jericho wall. God pulled down that wall of Jericho in order to fight for his people. God works miracles in order to confirm his true messenger. Like he did when Elijah called down fire. God works miracles in order to confirm his words among the people. Paul was coming out of the ship and the viper stuck to his hand and the viper attacked the hand of Paul and the villagers were looking at Paul to see when he will fall down and die but he didn't die and they now started saying this man is not a human being and they began to surrender their life to Jesus. I'm praying that there will be somebody here today at any viper attached to your hand, any power attacking your destiny shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. Every serpent power assigned to trouble your destiny shall be embarrassed and disgraced in the name of Jesus. God works miracles to demonstrate his power like he did to Lazarus. Lazarus was raised from the dead to demonstrate the power of God. May God demonstrate his power in your life in the name of Jesus. God works miracles to convince unbelievers that he is the living God. The Bible says without signs and wonders, people will not believe. Philip entered into Samaria and began to preach the gospel. And the Bible says signs and wonders began to happen. Demons went out of many. And there was much joy in the city. A lot of people surrendered their lives to Jesus. God works miracles for that purpose. God works miracles as a mean of calling his vessels those that God want to use works miracles to bring them in that's what happened during the conversion of Saul in the Bible God works miracles in answer to aggressive prayers in answer to aggressive prayers. In Matthew chapter 15, verse 28, we see the Syrophoenician woman who wanted a miracle by fire, by force. She started with aggression. Now let's take it from verse 22. God works miracles in answer to aggressive prayers. Verse 22. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him 
the Bible didn't say it, she said unto him, no, no, no. <laughs> she cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord. Thou son of David, my daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away. For she cried after us. This woman did not say a prayer, she was crying the prayers. And as a rule of heaven, when you get to that level, heaven must give you attention. But he answered and said, I'm not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him. Saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and to cast it to the dogs. And she said, Truth, O oh Lord, truth, Lord. Say, so Yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. An insult was passed to the lady. But the insult did not deter her. Verse 28. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. From that very hour. Miracles happens in answer to aggressive prayers. I'm sure there will be somebody here today who will cry unto the Lord from the heart and collect something that will move his or destiny forward. Miracles happen in answer to aggressive prayers. Miracles happen in order to reveal God as a God of providence. God that is able to do all things that can provide for anybody at any time in anywhere. The manna that fell from heaven was a provision from God. Feeding of 4,000 people was a provision from God. Money in the mouth of a fish was a provision from God. God is still in that business of working miracles. God works miracles in response to your faith. Faith. That's what happened to the woman with the issue of blood. If I may touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. In response to that faith, miracles began to happen. I'm praying for somebody here today that the miracle that will change your story will manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. Close your eyes on your seat and shout this louder than anyone around you. As many people as want to pray after the other blind Matimos and this Syrophoenician woman. Raise your prayer right hand and shout this loud and clear. 
my life. Connect to the miracle working power of God. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and say so. My life connect to the miracle working power of God by the power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Lay your right hand upon your head. You will prophesy upon that head. My head. Is that the ladders who can shout it? My head. My head. Hear the word of the Lord. Arise and shout in the name of Jesus. Makate satia, bukote na kaya bushende rabosonte, riboko sonte yaba, yada kate riboko sotonda. Jesus name we pray. The story of blind Bartimaeus change in 24 hours. The story of Moses change in 24 hours. The story of that lame man by the temple change in 24 hours. Rise to your feet now. You will shout this loud and clear. Oh God of 24 hour miracles. My life is available. Can you shout this loud? Manifest your power in the name of Jesus. Somebody is breaking through with this prayers. Bakate setende ya boshende la basanda. Ribo sepole ke ya boshende la basanda. Jesus then we pray this prayer is for those who are running businesses you've had the various testimonies here today can you shout this loud and clear if you like you can put anything you want in the prayer you can put academic you can put occupation, you can put career. 
but this prayer is for the business people. Can you shout this loud and clear if you're a business person? My business glory. Come along in the name of Jesus. Command your business glory to come alive. Bapota se teleke ya boshendera ba. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Connected to the God of signs and wonders. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, by your wonder working power, every sickness in my body, dead in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and command the sicknesses to die. In Jesus' name we pray. Say arrows assigned to make me a financial leper. This is a serious prayer. Arrows are signed to make me a financial leper. Shout it loud. Backfire in the name of Jesus. See what is going on here this morning? In Jesus' name we pray. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Shout his loud. Alright. Destroy the helpers of my enemies. Destroy the helpers of my enemies in the name of Jesus. Something is going on over there. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my stolen opportunities. Can you say it loud and clear? Come back to me by fire. 
in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. This is time for Hannah prayer. Begin to call upon the God of signs and wonders the God of miracles and be specific tell him the area where you want the manifestation of his power before next week begin to talk to the Lord now Rise up, it please. Pick any song of praises in your mouth now and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. prayer to pray now and I want you to spend quality time praying that prayer <clears throat> but let me read you a quick testimony so I thank almighty God of MFM for breaking the conspiracy of the, of the highest order to remove me from my office I work with the government and after the election when I was supposed to return to my office some people went to tarnish my image before the president of the country last week I was in church the theme of the summer was connecting to the miracle working power of God the sermon was directly speaking to me and speaking to what I was going through. When Daddy Gio asked us to pray for 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours, miracle working power of God. With faith, I asked for 24 hours miracle. After the service, I ran to the Gio for prayers in his office. I explained to him that some people have ganged up against me and convinced Mr. President not to return me to office. The GO prayed and anointed me and asked me to go and see the President the next day. To my greater surprise, someone went to the President without my consent and debunk all the lies against me and by 11 45 that day i was even sleeping 
when the good news was broken to me. I prayed for 24 hours miracle, but I got 12 hours miracle. Someone spoke to defend me. And by the time I saw the president, he received me with a smile. I even had the lunch in his house. Surely, there is a living God, the mountain of fire, and miracles in Israel. You are going to close your eyes with fire in your voice. Fire in your voice. You will pray the prayer we prayed many years ago at a crusade. We pray that prayer at a crusade. Is that prayer I want you to pray now? There was a woman in that crusade, she was carried there. She could not walk. That day we took the prayer point from Psalm 68. Psalm 68. Verse 4. It says, Sing unto God. Sing praises to his name. Extol him that rided upon the heavens by his name Jah. By his name Jah. We began that prayer. All of a sudden, the woman felt something was coming out of her head. This paralyzed woman. But because I was saying, everybody close your eyes, be praying. So she didn't open her eyes. Just held tight to that thing. The thing was like a ruler. As she continued praying, the ruler was coming out. Was coming out. Until she pulled it out. It was this, when she came out for testimony, the ruler was the same length of her body. That is the kind of power in this prayer. Can you say, by your name, Jah? Is that the loudest who can shout, Jah? Large miracles happen in my life. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Can, can you just increase your effort a little bit? Because I see the cloud of God's miracle power hanging out. I want that cloud to break forth as rain upon your head. Something is happening immediately. But more things are yet to happen. No matter what situation you are going through. Whether it's your health, whether it's your children, whether it's your money. This is the hour. By your name, Jah! Let miracles happen in my life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. See what is going on. See what is going on. 
begin to happen here receive it. your miracle receive it. your breakthrough receive it. your miracle receive your breakthrough receive your miracle receive your breakthrough by his name John! thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus. 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 Say it, say it. Don't be afraid. Amen. Aha, you see what's happening now? He said with man, this is impossible. With God, all things are possible. Thank you, Jesus. What's happening? Where your enemies say you will not reach. What they say you never possess. By his name, Jah. Possess them in the name of Jesus. Receive mysterious miracles. Receive mysterious breakthrough. Receive mysterious miracle. Receive mysterious breakthrough. Receive mysterious miracles. 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 Receive mysterious breakthrough. By his name, Jah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Many transactions have taken place here. If I begin to describe them, we will be long here. But let me say that your sorrow has been turned to joy. Let me say the stagnancy is broken forever. What they say is not possible for you has been made possible by his name Jah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. You shall go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. No weapon form against you shall prosper. By this time next Sunday, you shall be an awesome bag of testimonies in the name of Jesus Father all the prayer requests are answered them by fire lay your hands upon the prayer request let the writers have mighty testimonies in Jesus mighty name we pray don't forget the deep deliverance service continues on witness day let us share the grace in fellowship